Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell. I'm a trained neuroscientist and I'm here to explain why Taylor Swift might be an actual psychopath. New research shows that up to 1% of the adult population may actually be real psychopaths, so we shouldn't be surprised that someone like Taylor Swift might be one too. It's actually not that much of a bad thing. Being a psychopath just means we can't feel empathy and we struggle to feel remorse for our actions. Taylor actually talks about the fact that she's a psychopath in some of her song lyrics and interviews. She says, go and tell your friends that I'm obsessive and crazy, that's fine, in Pictures to Burn. And also, they'll tell you I'm insane from Blank Space. She also talks about the fact that she's a psychopath in interviews. In an interview about the Blank Space music video, she says, I was really owning the fact that I'm a psychopath, which is fine. All of Taylor's confessions make me feel like she's really aware of her behavior, which is why I think that she's more likely to be a psychopath rather than a sociopath. The evidence for her being a psychopath is actually really good. Number one, her bold and diva-like behavior. This indicates a lack of remorse or an understanding that what she's doing is actually not socially acceptable for normal people. Like her or not, most people would recognize the fact that Taylor is wildly ambitious and makes a lot of requests that normal people might feel uncomfortable making. Like uprooting her whole family and making them move to Nashville so she could be a country music star, or pulling her whole album off Spotify, or forcing Apple to change their music policy or attacking Katy Perry, most people wouldn't feel comfortable doing those things, but Taylor Swift did. Number two is the fact that Taylor is extremely charming. Just because a psychopath can't feel normal emotions doesn't mean they can't manipulate the emotions of other people. Taylor Swift tries to make everyone feel like she's their best friend and she spends up to seven hours before and after her concerts taking selfies with fans and making them feel super special. There's been a number of articles about how Taylor Swift makes me feel like she's our best friend. So she's clearly really good at manipulating the emotions of other people. Psychopaths are often also good at mimicking emotions. So copying the emotions of other people. And a quick glance through Google image search will show Taylor Swift pulls some of the same emotions all the time, as if she's mimicking them. Number three is the fact that Taylor is extremely focused and reward seeking. For psychopaths, they often have an over the top response to everyday pleasures, and they are absolutely dedicated to seeking out more of the same. For some psychopaths, that reward seeking behavior can end in crime, but for Taylor Swift, it's ended an absolute obsession with success, it's no surprise that she's now earned over $200 million. Taylor Swift says things like, I'm intimidated by the fear of being average. And there are two ways you can go with pain. You can either let it destroy you or you can let it be the fuel that drives you. This is spookily similar to a quote from Rudolf Peel, a famous German psychopath and serial killer. He said, every man has his passion or fuel. Mine is to kill people. Pretty creepy, huh? So there you go, love her or hate her, Taylor Swift may in fact be a psychopath, but it's clearly working out for her and being a psychopath has been linked to being a CEO or being wildly successful. So maybe being a psychopath is not that bad after all.